Hey everyone, it's February 2nd, and it's the week four, four of the Boston training. Yeah, training less towards Boston. Uh, this is Lindsay, I'm Jeff, you guys know us by now, um, and uh, what we're going to discuss this week, we're thinking about... Uh, racing. Racing, yeah, racing within your workouts. Um, but we'll just kind of recap our weeks like we've done in previous videos. Yep. Um, tell me a little bit about your week, Lindsay. Um, this week for the endurance, it was, I thought this week was really hard. It was a tough week. Yeah, yeah. we did. I mistaken, well, one of the workouts, it was eight, 500 me, or 400 meters and I accidentally did 10. Ooh. So that, that was kind of rough. Uh, but it was good. It was a good little test. And then the next day was, or not the next day, but Thursday we did. 800s and 1200 meters repeats mm -hmm. and that got pretty tough yeah a bunch of different of sets it. and we were already going off less rest periods um so the recovery had to be pretty quick and i don't know it went well for you though right yeah it went well but i i kind of learned that i'm better at the 1200 meter distance than i am mm -hmm. the 800 at least when i compare it to my mile time yeah so that kind of taught me a little bit that mm -hmm. i need to work on maybe that 800 meter um I guess push a little bit. That's what's cool about the the varying intervals too is that we can kind of tell which athletes need work um, at which distances because in my mind as a coach you know the the way we train folks is in order for them to get faster they're gonna get faster at every single distance in order to uh, you know race the marathon faster mm -hmm. um, but you could definitely see the discrepancy is that the longer stuff comes a little bit easier for, for Lindsay and that's that's about the same for me mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, How was your week? My week was good. I think we, we both did a good job of recovery from the uh, competition last weekend. We took both Monday and Tuesday off. I think on Monday uh, I did do like some swim technique and some drills and skills. And, and that's, you know, that's considered like an off day potentially, but it's still training. So it's one of those little things, getting in there, working on the skill, working on the technique that probably is even more important than than the repeats that we, we might do sometimes. Because mm -hmm. um, it always comes back to the skill. But yeah, my week was good. Um, 400s went really well. I was within two seconds on all my 400s. Um, and not far off my time trial pace either. Uh, it, it Again, it's, it's tough as a coach, like training by yourself a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, everything was good. Mile repeats, or we didn't do that this week, I'm sorry. The 800s and 1200s were good as well pretty close consistent three to four seconds yeah, yeah. well cool yeah and then we ran tybee tybee 10k yeah tybee Ty 10k and that, and that kind of led us to the topic we want to discuss today um but super terrible conditions yeah um, it was a little cold <laughs> <laughs> and rainy <laughs> yeah we showed up and and it got warmer as the week went on if like in south carolina it was ridiculously cold um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and yeah. we actually had some ice and some storms um, rolling in, and everyone was freaking out. Yeah. Um, Doesn't but happen in South Carolina. No, no, and when it does, people go go crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah, Tybee results. What did you run yesterday? I ran 42.54, mm -hmm. and going into it, I was kind of hoping to stay around the seven-minute mile pace, which was about where I was. Yeah. A little bit maybe slower than I'd wanted, but... I can't like be second. upset about that time. Yeah. And then I, yeah, so that was a good, it was a good finish for me. I hadn't done a 10K in a, in a really long time, at least as far as like a race, is, mm -hmm. a race goes. Yeah, it was good. That was my first race since Cozumel, and to be back out there, it just felt good. Um, Lindsay came in eighth, I believe, mm -hmm. overall, eighth overall female, female. and she, she won her age group. So it was a good day on that, on that front. Obviously. And you did really well. Yeah, I was pumped. I mean, I think both of us don't really care about the, the placing, uh, especially really good athletes don't mm -hmm. care about how they place, in, in my my opinion. Um, but I had a 28-second PR. Um, you know, wasn't expecting it because we're just back week, you know, four weeks of training specifically for the run. Um, and I ran 34.50, um, third overall. Can't complain. Um, it was nuts. The two guys in front of me, though, ran 29 minutes that's like sick. world class crazy yeah uh, in tybee island uh georgia just watching them warm up you just knew they were fast yeah they, <laughs> they had the tattoo <laughs> yeah on their shoulders yep with a foot and some wings so um it was all good i mean it's good to have 
that's why I like racing because it's good to have those types of athletes there because it pushes you and it's, it's something you can't elicit mm-hmm. outside of that, that venue. Yeah. And I think it, it was really good because we both go into these with just trying to improve mm-hmm. on either the previous race of that same distance or making sure that the splits are staying consistent. Consistent. Yeah. And boom, Lindsay hit the nail like on the head there is that consistency is all we're concerned about um, with our athletes and in our own training is that the intervals need to be consistent on a weekly basis and then the time trials need to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Um, What was our weekly, what has been our weekly mileage? I know we don't think about that. I think mine was like maybe six at the top. Six miles this week? Yeah. Uh, oh, before the 10K. Yeah, before yeah. the 10K. So in total, oh, you know, we do have yeah. the the longer runs, but during the week, yeah, it's, you know, it ranges anywhere from three miles to, to six miles during the week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yes, as we get close to the race, we'll ramp things up. Um, but it's it's one of those things as, as a coach, I don't, I don't really think about that as much. You know, it is a consideration. Um, but I'm looking, is the athlete getting consistent on their splits? Are they getting faster? If not, there's an issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also just, with this 10K, it just made me realize that Boston's in April. Mm-hmm. So having these little things to kind of look forward to before mm-hmm. we get there is really encouraging. Mm-hmm. And even if it's somebody that is in a different sport, having those little markers along the way can just keep you going. Yeah. Otherwise, it can just get monotonous. It's huge. I mean, we're 16 weeks out. It, that's that's a long time uh, until mm-hmm. we actually hit the, the A race, Boston. Um, so racing is very important in your training. I encourage it to all our athletes um, because they get that camaraderie with the group. They're able to push themselves more. Uh, and it's exciting. I mean, you step to, I've stepped to, I don't know, over 100 start lines by now. And, uh, you know, you're, you're just ready to go. It's yeah. good to be out there. Plus, it forces you to embrace different weather <laughs> circumstances. Yeah. Oh, my god! Because otherwise, I probably, like, it would have been miserable. Like, I thought my mm-hmm. contacts were going to fall out. The rain just, like, hitting your eyes. <laughs> but it it forces you to embrace those things, which you mm-hmm. never know what's going to happen. You know, it could be pouring the mm-hmm. day of Boston Marathon. Yeah, they're not okay. going to cancel. They're not going to yeah. cancel the race. Yeah. Um, so that's another important thing is, is that it exposes you to different elements. It exposes you to, to more experiences. And the more experience you can get as an athlete, the better you're going to be. And you get t-shirts. And you get t-shirts, which <laughs> if anybody wants my t-shirts, you, just hit me up. I will send you a bunch of them because I'm, I'm kind of sick of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, this upcoming weekend, we've got the Hilton Head Half. Hilton Head so Half's coming up. That's going to be fun. We do have a, a good number of athletes. We've probably got about four or five actually doing the half. We had two athletes this weekend run Tybee with us, and they did well. We had mm-hmm. uh, one girl went 47 minutes, and then a gentleman who just started running with us, he's he's quick. He's in the master's division. Um, he's so been like 38 minutes? Yeah, 38, 30. Um, and it, for him, you know, he... He wasn't satisfied, and I know he's only going to get faster with more of this focus in mobility and strength. Um, but he took it. He won the overall Masters, um, so it was good to have them out there as well. We, we all kind of scrambled at the end because it was freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yes, Hilton Head half, half marathon coming up this weekend. You, you decide you're going to do it, right? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I've been training like I'm going to do it. I just mm-hmm. actually have to sign up now. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to get her to sign up. And yeah. uh, this is, I, I mean, we're treating this like a time trial time trial effort on Saturday. We're not going to taper off. Um, and our taper protocol is, you know, about the week before for most races, a week mm-hmm. and a half, you know, just being smart. The last two weeks before, two, two, to, two, two to three weeks before a race, it really, you know, it really doesn't matter. What you've got in the tank is what you're going to have. Yeah. on that day but what does matter is getting the proper recovery getting the rest um but this is our first initial benchmark uh really big benchmark for uh, mm-hmm. this training pro- protocol yeah um, looking forward to it hopefully yeah. it's not raining yeah it should be good there's a bridge in the middle of the course um i've run this one about two times this will be the third time um but yeah longer time trial effort we're gonna knock it out tell you how it goes that's right Cool. 
All right, well, wrap things up. Include races in your training plan. Um, not every marathon protocol out there actually has people race the 5K. I think it's a very important distance for our athletes to race. Um, and it, it really does get the job done, and we can even add workouts like a 3 by 5 k on that day, which mm -hmm. if you haven't done it, it's brutal. Brutal. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we, we try to work around races. Put them in, plan them in, but just don't be stupid about it. <laughs> you know, don't race every single weekend. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep, good things. Yeah, we will see you guys back at our Boston podcast next week, and uh, have a good one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.